Hi everyone, thank you for joining us live at PAX Unplugged for painting Happy Little Minis. I'm Gretchen. I'm Tommy. Patrick. And we are going to be painting some My Little Ponies. <laughs> we got ponies. I'm painting a fire elemental from our uh, <laughs> Wave 10 of the D&D line. <laughs> Wonderful. And then you're also going to show us some really fun things later. Yes. When we normally yes. go through different kind of uh, minis that we, we've uh, put up on Facebook, we're going to see some new WizKids stuff. Correct. But speaking of Facebook, we don't have access to our chat currently on Facebook. We only have access to our uh, YouTube channel and our Twitch channel. So if you're looking to chat with us, go to YouTube, go to Twitch. We got you over there. But let's go. Yeah, can, yeah. can we, op can we, we open, can open them, them yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yay. Opening ponies, you opening ponies. Waiting so much just to. Oh, let me. I mm, there's yeah, nothing like, like that new pony smell. It's a good smell. New pony smell. Mm. That's, that's a good pony. So these ponies actually come with stickers that you can use if you don't want to paint the cutie mark or their eyes or something like that. They sure do. There's the stickers right there. <laughs> I'm not going to use them. No. I'm, I'm <laughs> You're saving those for later. I am. I'm ready. Now, I'm like I am a novice painter. I, I have never, I've rub and buffed things. I've primed and then rub and buffed because I play a lot of Warforged. Mm. So you guys are going to have to help me. Follow your heart. All what right. Does, you can't go wrong. What does your wrong. pony heart say? My pony heart says this is going to be a weird looking pony <laughs> when I'm done. I don't know. I don't think you can go wrong, man. All right. So what are the brushes? All right. So I am very much a use whatever brush is easiest for you. Okay. Kind of person. But if you want to get into finer details, mm. I would suggest the brush that has more of the pointed tip. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave, who is sadly not joining us today for reasons unknown. Uh, <laughs> he would lick the tip, the tip of the paintbrush in order to make it more pointy. Is this you a new brush decide. or am I licking Shh. Dave's brush? <laughs> That's for you to decide and you to honor. What does your pony heart say? Wow. Tastes like Dave. <laughs> All right. All right. You can use the larger brus brushes if they have more like stiff bristles or anything like that to mm -hmm. do dry brushing. Yeah, I know paint. this is a dry brush. I dry brush <laughs> when I do cosplay stuff. I dry brush a lot. Mm, all right. Alrighty. Speak to me, pony. What is in your heart of hearts? Friendship is magic. And what does this friendship say to you? Yes. It says I'm a, I'm a pretty pony. I'm going to oh. give my pony a mustache. Can we do that? <laughs> you can do whatever you want, man. There's a, f a flesh wash. I don't want. Now, what's the <laughs> difference? Pony? With the, uh, so you said these are metallic, right? The black caps Anything are metallic with paint. Black tap, what are white caps? Metallic. That is anything not metallic. So that's just going to be your plain, simple, opaque paints. Opaque okay. meaning you can't see through them. They're not a wash. Okay. And then a wash is transparent? Anything with a red cap and is transparent. Yep. Okay. All right. All You're right. learning. Quickly. I'm learning. Look at yeah. me. I'm evolving. <laughs> hey, everyone on chat who made it over here. Uh, hey, Sarah. Hey, Dragonston Gaming. And you can mix paints too. Yeah, I and see you that. Can Patrick's, mix paints. Patrick's putting his paint down on. Okay, so you put it on the plate. <laughs> yes. You put it on the plate. Squeeze a little blob. Now, I'm making my pony a little tanner than me. I just burn in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure if you were a pony, you're, you would have a beautiful, luscious chestnut coat of hmm. fur. Hmm. <laughs> what would I look like if I were a pony? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I take this. But yeah, so just, just go for it. Get the paint the on the mini. Hmm. Now, how long do you usually take to paint? I see you're just going at it. Uh, it's a it's a fire elemental, so I'm I'm creating a kind of red base. Okay. Yeah. What I've done is I've mixed. I, I'm you know I'm not an expert painter by any means at all. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you're no Gretchen. I, no, no, <laughs> I'm not. Um, I'm taking a uh, a wash with a red, so I can kind of like give a, a more transparent look because I want to actually be able to see the yeah, yeah. the light through the fire elemental. And uh, we don't have the the correct paint that I want, but so what I just that's why I mix the kind of wash with the red paint. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is just kind of base. I've just realized, and then, and then fill in some shadows later. 
as I'm painting this a flesh tone, it looks like a nude centaur. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're, is that what's calling to you? If I were a pony, I wouldn't wear clothes. Oh, That's wow. Fair. Would you? Would you wear clothes I, I don't know. if you were I, a pony? I, you're getting kind of like You're getting kind of robot chicken on us, man. <laughs> I would. I, I feel like I would accessorize as a pony. What would po you ever see a thing? What would centaur pants look like? <laughs> would it just cover the first front pants or like the rear hind legs? Uh, yeah. That's a good question. These are things that keep me up at night, Gretchen. <laughs> Like, what about like millipede pants though? Why stop a centaur? What would millipede pants look like? Is it just a shirt? Look, it's not enough time in the day to answer that. That's like a what? What's the sound of one hand clapping? You can't Snapping. do that. I can totally do that. Yeah. <laughs> so we all know what the. W that's not a clap. No, no, no. Oh, you're giving it a flick. Oh, wait, that's a clap. Why? How is mine different? Your hand's not big enough. <laughs> oh. We can't all be born with hands that can clap that by is themselves. Right. You can't be born with big hands. <laughs> these tiny hands of mine. <laughs> so these are all acrylic based paints. So if you felt like you had a color that you wanted to alter or uh -huh. change, you can mix them really easily. Are these non toxic? Could you eat them? Yeah, what mean, are we painting with? What paint is this? I don't, is this Vallejo? This is Army Painter. Oh, it's Army Painter. Oh, another more, any more ruddy skin. More ruddy skin. You got this. Well, let's see what you have. So yeah, far, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm getting it. Yeah. Oh, three you're legs good. are going to be tan. You're going to make the next purple. I think all. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the, there are six ponies that came out. Just because if, if you're wondering, like, how do I get these ponies? Yeah, I'm I was not really trying that. to sell these ponies, but I'm I telling you that. They're uh, six ponies, unpainted, come with stickers, and we're planning on more ponies. And they're pre-primed. Oh. I would say they're, yes, they they're pre-primed. We, we took these right out of the packaging. Yeah. Here's the wonderful thing. The ponies are so popular, we're coming out with more ponies. Oh. Yeah, it's all 40-year-old men that are painting You these. know what? That's okay, though. Like I think me. That, yes. <laughs> That's awesome, though, because I saw over there when we got to choose our own ponies. That's right. They were already flying off the shelves. Yeah. Right? They are flying off the shelf. I mean, not as fast as these D&D ones, but they are close, right behind it. Have you seen the, uh, the Toys That Made Us documentary on My Little Pony? I have not seen that one. They have gone through many iterations, but the original design is still the best-selling pony toy. Yeah. That's amazing, though. I think ponies took off so amazingly, so quickly. Like, that was... I, I wasn't expecting the new My Little Pony to do that. I don't think anyone was. No, no, no. No. They even covered that in the documentary, where they were like, yeah, we made a cartoon... And the woman who made the cartoon, like, she actually, she was a fan of My Little Pony, and she actually wanted to make a good product. And, uh, and it just resonated with an audience that she wasn't expecting. It's always cool when that happens, when people right. you don't expect to be your target audience end up just absolutely loving your product. Yeah. And then now you have BronyCon. Right. Which Cosplayers. Was, yeah. We have that in um, my hometown of Baltimore, BronyCon. In Baltimore? Yeah. In Baltimore, yeah, there's a convention. We have Crime and bon BronyCon. That's uh. the two. <laughs> Unrelated, of course. <laughs> Un unrelated. I'm not saying. Yeah, yeah. Don't put words in my mouth. Come on. The, the modern Baltimore is gentrifying very fast and becoming a suburb of D.C. We Charm are, City. We're very high on the m murder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a lovely place. Come on. Hey, but how about them Ravens, huh? Who are they? Football? Oh. Football teams? It's fine. I'm it's not really good. into you don't, sports you don't need ball. To know. Don't, yeah, I'm yeah, not really it's, into it's, sports it's ball. That's for jocks. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and comedians from Baltimore. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, it's like mandatory once you start living in Baltimore. They hand you their your purple jersey and your orange mm -hmm. cap. And you got you got to start talking like this. Yeah. I'm gonna paint oh, yeah. me a little pony over there. Well, I'm not Shit. originally from Baltimore, but once you're there, like it's it just happens. They you, they start like sprinkling you in Old Bay, oh. and suddenly you're just Old right. Bay, the spice of gods. Right. All I remember about it is flying into Baltimore. There's a casino that's quite large when you come in. Yes, there and is. And lots of clam ads. And clam? anti clam, I don't know. What is what is this? What is the Baltimore's like oysters? I don't know. Crabs. Whatever. Crabs. 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 Clams. Ah. But there's the, the classic <laughs> Baltimore clams. <laughs> yes, whatever. But uh, there's the crabs, and then there's the anti crab sign. I, I think I think the last time I was in Baltimore, oh, I was like, oh, the pita sign. Yeah, that was like, don't sign. eat yes. crabs. And then Baltimore changed it to be like, eat yes. us. Eat more yeah. crabs. Yeah. It's kind of like, yeah. That doesn't work very well in Baltimore. <laughs> hey, Sean on Gene. Sorry, I can't read. I yeah, crab cakes. Crab cakes. Crab cakes. Yeah, see, the Gene knows that Baltimore's exciting to watch this season. Now, are you being careful around your butt? I am not. <laughs> I'm just going for it. Yeah. I'm never careful around a butt. Just. I think she's a little blue in the butt. I'm. A, I'm doing a base coat first. Classic millennial. <laughs> But you is know. she really millennial? I think that's a Gen X. No, no, no. Um, no, no, there's no way she's Gen X. I know. She's 28. She falls in the millennial category. Well, yeah, I already told you because I was yeah. referencing oh. how old my cat was. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're, you're a cheater. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a base coat here uh, with yep. all of the, the, that's my exactly blue. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing a full red base coat that I'm going to fill in with a little bit of shadow. I am brushing from the back to the front because I've been using its head to hold on to. And by the end of whenever I get to where I need to paint its face, I'm going to switch and hold on to its tail. That way, I am not going to get my fingers in any wet paint. Not that it would be much of a problem if I did, but I don't want to leave little fingerprints on my paint, my paint job. Um, and once I get a nice base coat, I'll go in there with some shading and some other little details. And You've done this before. I, I might have. Yeah. Dude, not ponies, though. Being all careful. Right. Like layers. A, like a noob. Look, she's talking about layers upon layers. No fear. You just go for it. You just commit. Commit. Okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. Have a vision. That's right. That's right. Splatter paint it. I don't know. Live your life. I won't stop you. No, no. Yeah. You ever paint with an airbrush? I have not, actually. And something I want to do, I have a few friends that paint with airbrushes. We haven't had them in the studio. Uh, and they can get some really nice visual effects. I'm always very impressed with people who do stuff with airbrushes. Mm -hmm. So I'm painting a uh, one of the four new elementals that comes out this way, this way, up. There we go. I'm painting one of the new four elementals that come out uh, as part of the WizKids line, uh, the Wave 10. We've currently released 10 waves. The newest wave came out, I want to say, about a month ago. And it had uh, all new four elementals, earth, fire, uh, air, and... Uh, what about heart? No, yeah. no, that's... that's, have no, that's, heart? that's no, uh, heart no, no heart elemental? No heart elemental. Can you make a heart elemental? I yeah. want one. Uh, no, I no, we can't. Oh, um, well. <laughs> <laughs> Shut down! <laughs> I tried. I yeah. tried. The water elemental. I there we go. That's the last elemental. <laughs> uh, but they're really, they're really kind of dynamic. Uh, you can kind of see. I'll put it down. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not doing the best paint job. But again, the the paint line has a lot of cool stuff. Some dragons. It looks like a blood elemental. Yeah, that's what I was thinking right now. <laughs> hey, I had blood and I had black. <laughs> Those are my two red colors. I mean, you have. I guess I could have made red. You have quite a few different colors you can do with that, though, because yeah. you have can orange you and red? you have yellow. Yeah, I could have done orange. You're right. You I went have with the, bronzes. I, I did. I did. There's gold over here if you need it. What is this? This is rust monster. Yeah, no. Oh, nice. Mm. You have tons of, of fire. You're right. Colors I could have gone use. more orangey. And I wanted more blood red. You are correct. And you know, once you get that base coat down, you can do anything from having the, you know, a full on fire elemental to even using some black and other stone yeah, -like colors to make it lava. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this kind of like blood red with that I mixed with the black wash and then let it dry and then do another black wash on top. You it's do whatever your inner elemental tells you. What do you 
Wait a minute. Are you going to ever, is that just going to be a nude pony? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. He is <laughs> don't, following no, don't his No, don't judge. Heart. Let my freak flag fly. Hey, I'm not, no judge, no judge. This is your base. You want the base to be. It's just a base. Yeah, yeah. I you're can paint a crop top on it later. You're going to add some underwear later. It'll be fine. Ponies don't wear underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only going to use this color and that blood color. That <laughs> <you> There we <laughs> go. <laughs> blood pony. My nude blood pony. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good <laughs> Is idea. Is that what your cutie mark's going to be? Just nude blood <laughs> pony, new blood pony. Vicious. Wow. Um, you have a good voice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a, actually a question in the stream. Any Warforged in the new wave? I want Warforged yeah. for Eberron. There are so few Warforged figures. Yep. So, not yet. Uh, there, uh, as we will know, um, Wizards of the Coast came out with Eberron the last month, mm -hmm. uh, which made kind of Warforged kind of official uh, yeah, as part yeah. of the kind of 5e canon. And so you could imagine there will be Warforged coming very soon. But now, no nothing yet. Now, uh, WizKids is only doing, oh, it's Wizards of the Coast, which owns... D&D, so, &D, so there's no Pathfinder-related stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. So we're actually, WizKids is a separate company. Okay. We license with uh, Wizards of the Coast, uh, which includes D&D &D and Magic. And we also license with Pathfinder, which includes, uh, sorry, Paizo, which is also Pathfinder and Starfinder. Nice. Yeah. Now, any plans on making a, any Leshy, which is a new race in Pathfinder 2nd Edition? They're uh, plant-based? 100%, yes. Uh, we haven't made them yet, but... We released a set of miniatures, I want to say about four months ago, uh, Legendary Adventures mm -hmm. and Pathfinder, and there's we're planning on two sets next year. Nice. Wow. Yeah. And then as part of Unpainted, we release probably five Unpainted Pathfinder minis every four months. So there's about 15 a year, and we're releasing a lot more with Pathfinder uh, next year. That's awesome. Yeah. It's great to hear. Yeah, so on, on the Warforged. Yeah. For sure, <laughs> not yet. Eberron is official now, so I would say start looking for a lot more uh, Eberron-based races, shifters, uh, changelings, warforged, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you like that kind of stuff. If you're into that. I, I mean, yeah. I don't know. We're only painting minis for a bunch of different tabletop games. It's a right, new. right. This is going to be the mount for my character <laughs> in Pathfinder. <laughs> wow. I adore that. Uh, Yes. Oh, that's an alternative Pathfinder game. <laughs> <laughs> we do a lot of homebrew. Oh, you do? Gotcha. They need to just find it, like, in a glade. Like, just, oh, look at this unicorn. Yeah, like, is that a naked pony? I know. I thought ponies were always naked. Like, All right. Yeah. Perfect. And then it's the quest to find my pony's clothes. Does that mean it's, like, a hairless pony? Ooh, like a sphinx yeah. cat? Like, is that what, like... It looks like it now. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've mentioned it, I've just ruined it for everyone. Wow. No, no, that's why he's going to have to paint the purple leg. <laughs> now it's getting back tattoos and everything. Oh, the stickers for that, man. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> temporary. Just do temporary tattoos. My pony's tribal. <laughs> <laughs> what if I gave it all of uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson's tattoos? That would be amazing. Uh, would you paint? What about yours? I only have the one tattoo. Oh, that's it? It's not fair they can't see your tattoo. <laughs> Do you want to see it? You want to get yeah. it? Oh. Is that the symbol for love? I can't, I can't remember. Symbol for love? No, it's actually Order. my name. Oh. So there's a T. You see the T? And then there's an O. That's really an cool. An M, an M, and a Y. Because tattoos are permanent, so I wanted something that wasn't going to change. <laughs> like my name. <laughs> what, you can't change your name? You can. But it's a big hassle. But now, now he's tattooed it on himself. So. Ah. Yeah. So now he just has to, yeah. Actually, my name's Charles. <laughs> <laughs> my name is actually Charles. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I have a tattoo, but it's on my leg, so I can't really show it. No, you're able to. You just don't want to. Chicken. I could. What is it of? Just it's actually of a, of put a compass. Put the pony down before oh, you do compass? that. Oh, the compass? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just slam my leg on the table. Here, guys. Exactly. Here you go. My pony. Make sure that there's no butt associated with pony, please. Okay. And I actually got it on, uh, it's actually on my hip, just like a cutie mark, because my friends and I all got matching tattoos. Aww. And it was right before My Little Pony got big. 
and then suddenly it got big and we kept joking that it was cutie marks and now the joke has just become reality. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know when you start something and you're like, ha, 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 this is funny, and then suddenly it, it, you're like, this is what this is what it is yeah, now. Yeah, this, uh, this is my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I have a cutie so mark. So is this a Las Vegas type thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> This was definitely just a, hey, you want to get tattoos kind uh, of thing. Ah, yeah, okay. Now, do you shake the paint? Is that a good thing to do? You can shake the paint. You should shake the paint. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I noticed my body is getting better coverage than my face did. See, the face is a little streaky. Uh, you know, I did notice that. Oh, you weren't going to say anything? <laughs> just going to let me look like an idiot? <laughs> I, hey. <laughs> Like, I'm letting that? you discover this on your own. I, I, may, I may be in charge of the D and D RPG line, but uh, I, I I am learning to paint again. <laughs> I kind of stopped when I was in my mid twenties. You know what I think it was? It's because what? I was holding the face while I painted the body, oh. and maybe it's oils from my hand. Oh, that's probably it. Well, let's see your hand. Oh, did, your, did your hand have the? Oil? That's yeah, a, look at that. You see my greasy, tiny hands. So guys, they, they, we already talked about your tiny hands. <laughs> <laughs> how has Pax Unplugged been going for you guys? What's that? How has Pax Unplugged been going for you guys? Uh, it's been it's been fun. Yeah, I just got here. <laughs> I slept good last night. You flew in from Baltimore. Uh, took a train. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, so mm -hmm. did I. That's right. It's just south of here, isn't it? Yeah, it was just like a two-hour train ride, maybe. Nice, nice. It wasn't very long. Uh, Baltimore as well. I took oh, you train to Baltimore, yeah. yeah. I kind of got that since you knew the whole crab thing. <laughs> <laughs> since the whole crab thing. Where are you thing, from? Yeah. Uh, I'm fr I live in Seattle now. Oh, okay. But I'm from... Oh, classic Seattle growing tea. Up the, growing up in the Army. Oh, oh okay. okay. That, I like where like, that explains everything. Oh. Everything about you. That's why you oh, think yeah. we eat clams. Eh, clams. <laughs> it's an East Coast thing. and. <laughs> Some fucking. I'm oh, sorry. I can't cuss, can I? No, <laughs> but you did it. You did it hard. Well, <laughs> that was a hard G on that. You know what? We're PG-13. We get one. Okay. You, oh. you just used it. Took okay. it. You spoiled it for everyone. I was going to say so the sorry. F word and clams. <laughs> Some lovely clam thing. Yeah. Yeah. Clams. I mean, each East Coast city has its own little food thing from the sea, doesn't it? Well, it's like down south though. They boil shellfish. Yeah, because it's the right way. <laughs> okay. That's gross. <laughs> As someone from Louisiana. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's where your accent. Because that's like that's not a Baltimore accent. No, it's not a Baltimore accent. It's I a mean, Cajun one. Most of most of my Baltimore accents come from is it John Waters? John Waters, <laughs> the wire. <laughs> it's all about going down there and you gotta take your vowels right. and stretch <laughs> them out real wide there. I can't wait to go home and put some old bay on clams. Uh Go oh. Patterson Park. You could sing every song in Hairspray in that accent. You yeah, and you'd be and right. I I would be like, yes, this is accurate. Oh, sweet baby, you're the one. Do, 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 do. <laughs> like that song? Yeah. Wow. I don't know. I think you should start singing Polyester. What's that? How's that one go? I don't remember. It's one of his earlier movies. So what are you, what are you into? What, what kind of music do you like to listen to? Uh, what do I like? Uh, bluegrass. Okay. Industrial. Okay. Real kill. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, just, just the things everyone's eclectic. into. Eclectic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. yeah, eclectic Who doesn't music. love some good old bluegrass? Right? Yeah. Right? Olivia Newton-John, because who doesn't love Olivia? Well, I mean, then you must love oh. Old Town Road. Oh, we have No, a actually question. don't. But I it's don't, a that, that whole Trent genre. Reznor. Yeah, no, the whole genre. The chat, and I feel like it's a life-altering question. Is cereal soup? Is cereal? Is cereal soup. Yes. You're I would say it is a milk-based soup. Are you talking about, like, gazpacho? like, tricks and that kind of cereal? Yeah. 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 No, it's not soup. <laughs> it's sugar water. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious sugar water. Sorry, sugar What's your milk. favorite cereal? Hmm. 
God, that's a hard question. Yeah. What, what was my favorite cereal growing up? Would have been did, did you, Captain you Crunch. You can't outgrow cereal. Oh yeah, you, you can. can. Oh, you, you can. can. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It no. gets a little too sweet at some it's point. It's too no. sweet. And then yeah, you start yeah. eating uh, kicks. Nah. Reese's Pieces. Yeah, or or, or great nuts. The Reese's Pieces cereal. Oh, special <laughs> cake. The Reese's Puffs. That's what it's I called. I eat muesli. Oh. oh, that's what I eat. You eat yes. muesli? I yeah. Eat usually muesli. it's porridge, muesli. Porridge. I love porridge, man. I eat grog. No, porridge. Porridge is damn good for you. Damn is not a cuss word in Seattle. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> delicious gruel. <laughs> okay, are you a, do you like grits? You ever have grits? Yeah. Uh, do you like savory or sweet grits? I like savory. I'm uh, not a big savory sweet grits. Yeah, yeah. That's the way to go. For breakfast. Yeah, savory grits. Butter, you get that butter cheddar grits. Butter, yeah, butter. I like uh, sugar, you put sugar in your no, grits? No, no. Too sweet, too sweet. Nope. Well. Against it entirely. Not about... All right, that needs to dry for a sec. Oh, we're supposed to let them dry? You can. You don't have to. They're acrylic. They dry quick. You can just paint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. While you're drying your oh. mini, why oh. don't you show us oh. some cool, fun things? Yes. Oh, my God. Thank you. Not interested. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're here to just paint and talk about cereal. Just, just paint your brony thing. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're ripping out the metallics. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're, uh, okay, all right. Uh, so one of the big things we're launching in the next year in June is uh, basically our Warlock tiles. So Ooh. Warlock tiles, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out some stuff. Do we have any black? Um, black, yeah, it's black wash. No. I don't think we, we have black black. We don't, but you can mix black if you get a brown, a purple, and a very dark blue. So what I'm going to, oops. What I'm going to show you are tiles. I'm going to put some together. Basically, what we've come up with is... Uh, May I? Yeah, 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 of course you can. So these are two-by-two two tiles. Oh, hey, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Two-by-two uh, two tiles. Uh, they come out in June. Uh, seven SKUs, and I'm just going to talk about one SKU, which is our kind of advanced starter. It has stone on one side as a two-by-two. Two. On the other side, it has a wood pattern. But Ooh. the key thing is, if you think about it, is I can actually start utilizing these clips, and from these clips, these are Warlock clips, and I'll, uh, I'll show you a little clip right here. You can kind of see it. I'm going to put it together and, and just show you what it looks like on the camera. But if you think about it, these tile systems are to be used in your RPG games uh, to actually play with miniatures. You know, I didn't bring any miniatures, but you can imagine a miniature sitting right here. Now, if you see that, then you can start constructing these pretty easily by just adding new tiles. The good thing is you can kind of see this tile clip. You may be familiar with it because it may look like an open lock or a dragon lock tile. We're actually creating a, creating a conversion clip that enables you to actually use, use the clips you've already created and maybe printed on demand and painted uh, with these tiles. And so you can see I'm just clipping them right in, right? So I can now have a 4x4 four four tile. Nice. So if you see that 4x4 four four tile, that becomes a kind of base that you want to do. Um, from this base, I have wood, I have stone, the key thing is I can add things like a door. And so I'm going to put a little door in. And you can kind of see the, the cool thing about this door is it opens and <laughs> closes, right? So it's pretty cool, right? So I'm going to just clip this in here. You can kind of see I'm going to start building a, a small little room that you could have an encounter in. Like I said, this, this, set, comes, this set comes out in, um, in, 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 in June. It's $99, but what it has is it has so much stuff. It has 23 2x2 two two tiles. It has tons of these things, like the 4x4 four four tiles, like this. Uh, the, the other thing it has is, if you think about it, is that as a way to put your minis, and you can't see this, but I'm going to actually get a little wall right here, a little corner wall, and you probably can't see this. Yeah, there we go. Da 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 da. You can't see it on the, on the camera, it's, it's just not enough. We've created a one millimeter divot right here on, on this side right here. And what this enables you to do is when I put a little corner here, I can actually put a miniature on this square. And I'll move it so you can see it. I can put a miniature on this square. That miniature will fit perfectly into this space. Oh, because, because of the base. Because of the gap. Oh. Yeah, we yeah. put a little gap. I don't know if you've ever used tiles and you've tried to yeah. put the miniatures and you, they, they clog and get, they interrupt. Not anymore, right? So we've done this. Now, like I said, this is the first of many tile sets that we have coming out uh, that in June. Uh, this one is the, and I talked about this, I think, at the last time, but I didn't. I only had a couple yeah, to show you. Couple. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is the actual full set, and I could probably show you the box. But as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm just building a quick room. And 
build a quick room. Here we go. So and you're I, not just paying for one single room. You're really paying for the ability to create pretty much anything you need and want for your campaign. Exactly, exactly. You can create two large size rooms. You can create about a 20 by 30 room, mm -hmm. a long hallway, and another 20 by 20 room with this set that I have here. It creates a lot of stuff, like I said. So it creates this room, which is pretty cool, right? I mean, look at the detail. Mm. The other thing is that we have six different varieties of, uh, of tile. So not only did we paint this and, and we constructed it and molded it and, and sculpted it, it comes with six different things. So when you look at this, it looks natural because you don't want to have the same tile pattern after the same tile pattern after the same tile mm. pattern, right? So if you think about all that, then this becomes the real cool thing is that because I don't know how many times you've tried to use tiles in your games. Mm -hmm. They become cumbersome on the table. Oh, yeah. So yeah. half wall. By design, we have half wall. You can't see this because I don't have a mini. Or actually, I do have a mini. What am I talking <laughs> about? I have no minis. I work for WizKids. <laughs> I have a mini on the table, uh, right? So okay. now you have a fire elemental. You can, every angle from the table can now see that. So we mm. did half walls. The really other thing we did, and I'm going to put this over here, is that we've created this concept called um, interior walls. So now I'm able to, if you think about it, I'm able to place any one of these, if I can figure out how to do it, there we go. For cover and stuff. No, no, no. If you think about it, what I've, what I've just done is I've changed the configuration of the room because I put an interior wall in. Oh, nice. So now I can actually create That's a little so pocket cool. room. So you can see, the fire elemental is actually hidden in the secret room behind it, right? I mean, that's ah, probably not likely. That's, that's really cool. Cool. But yeah. yeah. But then what happens is, think of this as a bigger room. I can actually start taking these out and reconfiguring the room right away. So actually, mm -hmm. you can just pull it off your shelf as a 20 by 30 room and start reconfiguring the middle, taking doors in and out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. And it's pretty time efficient, too. Well, it is. I mean, here's the thing. We designed the game tiles not for Instagram, not mm -hmm. for Twitter, mm -hmm. but for game table, right? Half wall, ease, pick up, move around, right? So it's meant to be played with, not taken a picture of. I, I still think those would yeah, photograph. Yeah, you can take no, a picture it's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's gorgeous. No, no, I mean, we didn't, we spared no expense yeah. on the actual details. These are my ugly kids. If my what, I, what I'm saying is. wants to be beautiful, my dungeon will be beautiful. Yeah, this, this dungeon is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> the paint is exquisite. The, the, the focus is not about that. The focus yeah. is that we want high quality. Playability. Playability. Yes. 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 Anyway, huh. so I can, I can play with this. I only brought one of these tiles. Uh, but again, you, you can actually see. Uh, a lot of this stuff. If you go to wizkids.com, uh, there's some stuff that should be up there uh, on the tiles. They're called Warlock tiles. Awesome. Yeah. So I'll just let my... Uh, and how much does the set? 99, you said? This entire set is 99. We have, we have additional sets coming out. We have a basically, this set has, like I said, it's a lot of pieces. This mm -hmm. is 99. We have another that's 50. We have a doors and archways coming, uh, doors and archways coming set coming out with just doors, like I think 10 different doors and archways that are actually not tied to the tile, so if you want to actually use them as part of any other mm -hmm. tile system, you can. Mm -hmm. That's 50 bucks. If you want, we have a, um, a stairs and ladders set coming out. Ooh. We have a summoning circle, and I, I wish I would have brought the summoning uh -huh. circle. It's actually an LED lit uh, with with a arcane symbol underneath. That yeah, you can I actually wish you would have brought that, I, too. I, 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 I wish I would have brought it. Cool. I wish I would have brought it. Uh, the next, I have 30 minutes, I think, with yeah. you guys. Tomorrow, I'll bring it then. Um, <laughs> the, the, the key thing is, is that, uh, we want to create sets that people want to play with mm -hmm. uh -huh. and then add on. So we have doors and archways, stairs and ladders. We have the summoning circle, right? We have uh, these two sets, and then we have a Waddle and Dob set we're calling Town and Village. <laughs> so if you know what Waddle and Dob is, most of you, of mm. course, know what Waddle and Dob is. Well, I Being from Baltimore, you have to know that. What is Waddle and Dob? Well, Waddle and Dob is just a, a stucco. It's an old style stucco medieval house. Okay. Right? So if you think about it, we have entire set. Now that would go along with the wood. So you can imagine, I'm going to be able to build a dungeon. I'm going to be able to build a shop, an inn, whatever the case. So I'm going to be building a lot of different stuff with this, which is kind of cool. That's really cool. Yeah. That is really neat. And that for a price for a ninety-nine dollar price yeah. point, that's crazy. Well, because I mean, you get so much out of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna treat you know. It's really cool stuff. Let, believe me. But pick up that and see how light it is. Okay. I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> no, I know. It's yeah. No, it's really light. Are you light. worthy? Are yeah. you worthy to lift the dungeon? <laughs> it, is, it, is, <laughs> it is injection molded, right? Way back. So it's super light. It's super light. Mm -hmm. It's it's sturdy. It's it, I mean, can you break this? Of course you can, but yeah. you can break anything. You can break anything. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's highly it's it's sturdy. It's light, right? It's really high quality. 
and it's affordable. And that really what we try to get at is, is mm -hmm. right now, and oh, by the way, not Kickstarter. No Kickstarter. Wow. This is direct, this is direct to retail stores, mm. not direct to consumers. That's nice to yeah. hear. So this is for retail, if you like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Well, that's the thing. I, I like Kickstarter. The only downside with Kickstarter is uh, the time it takes from yeah. once you make your initial purchase. Yeah, yeah. To then sometimes you wait like a year. I'm pretty sure I did buy a game. I backed a game on Kickstarter and never got it. Yeah, I I I I, I, I backed a um, Tarask about mm, maybe four years ago. I still get updates on like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry if you're watching and you uh, you're that person who made oh, the Tarask. No. It's very sad because uh, mm, you know, but yes, we, we I think we've all that's all happened to us, right? Yeah. Which is unfortunate. It is. But yeah. These are Warlock uh, tiles coming out in June. Awesome. Yeah. And I will continue to paint my fire elemental. I think it's it's getting close. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll I move. think he looks good in the dungeon. That's uh, definitely with just the the bloody look of him right yeah, now. Yeah, if I yeah. Across a dungeon, and like, you know, as oh I'm just God. you know Chris oh. plunking along in a dungeon, and I were to find a blood elemental, I would. I'd be concerned. Classic. I, I know. I would be concerned too. Get the plates. How's your mini coming? It's coming along great. Oh, I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to get all the yeah. colors down. I like that mini. Like, oh, you know I what? like the gold. That's looking pretty good. That, yeah, I that looks snazzy. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so you say? I, I guess you play Pathfinder. Is that what you? Yeah, uh, yeah. Our podcast that we do, Laugh Finder, LaughFinderPod.com. Uh, uh, we've played uh, first edition Pathfinder. Yeah. Then we did Starfinder for a season, and now we're doing second edition Pathfinder. And what do you think of second edition? Uh, we're only four sessions in, and I'm playing a bard, which is my first time ever playing a bard, and I'm not exactly sure that I like bards. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're definitely an accessory. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, it's a it's a support class. Yeah, it's a support class. Yes. But I mean, as far as, um, and then there's, okay, so with power attack, <laughs> usually with power attack in most games, uh, you get a minus two hit, but then you get a plus to damage, yeah. right? Well, now with what Pathfinder 2nd Edition has done, you have three actions, right? And each attack you make with that action, your first uh, attack has zero penalty to hit, your second attack has minus five, and your second attack has minus ten. Yeah. So now what they're saying with uh, power attack, you get an extra die of damage, but uh, it takes up two of your attacks, so you uh, have to treat it as, a, as yeah. a minus five. So I'm not exactly sure what the benefit of even using it is. Yeah, yeah, I haven't. I, I have the books. I've read them. I unfortunately have not played Pathfinder Second Edition yet. Hmm. It's not bad. The three action thing definitely. Uh, you get you can do a lot more in combat. Yeah. It's a lesson for you watching. Don't play bards. <laughs> <laughs> I like to play bards. That's one of my I favorite like to classes. DM when there's a bard character. <laughs> well, I keep trying to have sex with all the NPCs, and then the DM won't let me have sex with them. <laughs> I thought this was a family show. I mean, have you, you ruined that after the oh, first, yeah, the yeah, first sorry, cursing sorry, experience. Yeah, yeah I could. Yeah, you took my one F word. I couldn't say what I wanted the bard to do. Oh, I had to say sex. You can say that. <laughs> I wanted my bard to fornicate. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. He keeps giving us monsters. Now, he won't even let me have sex with monsters. Really? Not eating a succubus? Well, are yeah. you are you properly wooing said monsters? Yes, I have an 18 charisma. I'm just saying, I you might need to step up your game. D have you, are you Maybe. role playing, or are you just? I yeah, have we're sex. a heavy role play. Oh, okay. No, I'm not like I want I to have sex now. Yeah, roll. Persuasion. You have sex with, and plus <laughs> I'm playing a monkey goblin. Oh, but I, I came up with all these catchphrases like once you go chimp, you walk with a limp. Wow. Once you go goblin, your your knees will be wobbling, like stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's a. I think your DM, GM, sorry, it's it's a path. Whatever, yeah, I would. Yeah, it yeah, should yeah. be DM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs uh, you should have a sit down. 
look, I have to give you a talk about the birds and the bees <laughs> and the monkey goblins. <laughs> Not that kind of sit down. <laughs> My just gameplay is being come in and instead of the attitude. instead of the Pathfinder setup, it's just the DM with a chair turned around and their yeah. hat back. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. So <laughs> when a bard meets a creature. So the, in the line of just talking about mini some more. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. We are planning uh, over the next year oh. to create three new waves of forty-five minis apiece. Hmm. Uh, including all your favorites, believe me, in the D and D line as well as Pathfinder line. You got any beholders? Uh, yes, we do. In I fact, like a good beholder. God, mini. the 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 next set we have coming out in March actually has a beholder zombie. Ah. Oh. Yes. Yes. A zombie beholder. Yeah, zombie beholder. I'm and really then the interested the in how that looks. The next set after that is going to have another beholder, an eye tyrant type thing. Oh man. Yeah. Dragons. We have a red dragon coming out. Uh, an adult red dragon, so it's quite large. It's big. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. I we adore just have painting a lot dragons. Of stuff. What's that? So I adore painting dragons. Yeah. I adore having someone paint them for me. <laughs> 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 I am much more like, I am someone as a painter who prefers to paint critters yeah. than I am someone who prefers paint to characters. paint like yeah. humanoid minis. No, nah, I'm with you. I am completely with you. Yeah, Much we're more relaxing to paint critters. We have a blue slot. We have a green slot coming out if you like your slots. Mm. We have a, 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 I think people have always like, where's the ogre? Where's the ogre? We have an ogre coming out. We have, we have uh, what is the other For one? For all an you Edmund? ogre lovers out That's, there. You know, we don't have enough ogres. We're going to fix that. Uh, we, have a, <laughs> we have an Eden coming out. I just think of Shrek. If I get an ogre, I'm painting Shrek. <laughs> yeah. D&D Shrek. It's D &D happening. D&D Shrek, yeah. We have a succubi and an incubi coming out in oh. one package. Yeah, but yeah. are they hot? I, I <laughs> think they are. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> They're hot. Uh, they should be. <laughs> for, if you follow the you rules. You have to be 18 or older to buy <laughs> these succubi that's kids. Right, that's right. Ask your parents. If you follow the rules, they should both be sensual and mm. exotic looking, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'll leave it up to your DM to role play that. Uh, Look at that golden mane. You like that? That I sheen. Think that is gorgeous. Thank you. That is just looking fantastic. Don't look too close or you'll see where I've messed up. Nah, it's a pony. I the, always like to The real question is what color like, is the horn? The more metallic and glitter you throw Silver. on that horse. Well, I would have <laughs> liked to have done yes. a black base. And oh. then dry brush, yes. like a silver or something. Oh, you still can? I, there's no black. There, no, there's, there there's should be somewhere. Did you check over there? There is a black So instead, wash. I'll do a gold <laughs> and then a black wash. Yes. I see. Have you, have you checked out any of the colors over there? You could probably mix something close to a black. Yeah, you're dead. I don't know. Does any colors make black? Yeah. All colors. So black. if uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you mix a very dark brown and yes. a very well, dark here's a blue, shadow wash, blue, yeah. uh, then you'll get something uh, that resembles a black. There we go. Shadow. I'll use blue it. and blue and blue and dark blue and brown and brown or yeah. a dark purple mm. as well because purple is the darkest um, ink color mm. uh, or paint color that mm. you can get without being black. Legally. So it's <laughs> it's Legally. the hue that gets the closest. Yes. Maybe you know what for the uh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe we can just go get oh, some black. Look at this gelatinous blue. Someone can go get some black for him. <laughs> gelatinous blue? Yeah, it's called gelatinous yeah. blue. Oh. I guess it is blue. I had a buddy uh, growing up that when uh, we met in our 20s, yeah. we started playing D&D, &D and he said he had his first character uh, that he ever had in D&D &D died fighting a gelatinous cube. Yeah. And then he was like, you know, because they like it, it will like hit oh me with a no. lightning bolt. What? And I was like, what? What do you mean it hit you with light? <laughs> yeah, you know how they can they can cast spells. I'm like, gelatinous <laughs> cubes cannot that cast spells. That is such spell. a leveled up gelatinous cube. <laughs> That's that terrifying. Was, can that you imagine been, you know, a cube just Yeah. <laughs> 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 what was your class? Yeah, uh, exactly. What was your rate uh, what was it like back when your class could be elf? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I want to play a gelatinous cube wizard now. Uh, gelatinous wizard? <laughs> yes. A gelatinous wizard. All I wizards are gelatinous <laughs> if you squeeze hard enough. 
Wow. <laughs> like if by like a hill giant just crushes them. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, what you guys grew up in Baltimore? Uh, I did. She grew up down south. Yeah, yeah I yeah, grew yeah. up in Louisiana, and then we moved to Baltimore when I was still a child. So, about half and half as far as growing up. And I, my whole life. What did you think about that? Oh, we shouldn't probably talk about politics. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the mayor. You're going to break, like, all the rules. <laughs> no one told me the rules. Every, every single <laughs> rule. <laughs> it's, it's the same rules as Thanksgiving dinner. There oh, you go. with oh. your family or your friends? It's got gotcha you yeah, there. Yeah, family. <laughs> Both. Ah. Uh. Ba, 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 All ba, right. Ba. <laughs> All right. A little black wash. Now it's like a. How's it going? Oh, now it's like maroon. Yeah. I like that. Uh, it looks cool. Too. Yeah. I think one of the most important things is uh, whenever you go to paint anything, just experimenting with everything. Yeah. You don't have a black. Oh, well, now it's a challenge. Go yeah, forth. Exactly. Go exactly. forth and conquer. Deal with it. I Don't find every know. job is easier if you have the right tools. <laughs> we could find <laughs> our Sharpie King going yeah. around. Yeah, where's Sharpie at? Oh, that's right. We met, there's a guy named Sharpie that's oh, walking he has around. A whole yeah. He has yeah. A crown at now. first he, he had a bandolier up. belt it full of cool. Sharpie. It was pretty cool. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Then, then later he came, now there's he has a, a crown. Yeah, oh, he has a crown of Sharpie? Yeah, a crown yes, of Sharpie. He's a crown now. Wow. That's something else. I'll move this out of the way. Try to get as many base colors done as possible. I feel like I'm going to run out of time like I always do. I'm like, we have an hour. It's fine. Oh, we have an hour? We have five minutes then. Five minutes? Uh, we have another hour, yeah. <gasps> we have another hour? A whole another hour. A whole another hour, yeah. There you've been rushing, painting that many. Damn it. I mean, darn it. <laughs> Sorry. My pastor's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing that you didn't say sex on, on screen. I That's know. Why, yeah. Uh, my bard was going to marry each NPC. <laughs> yes, marry. Consummate said marriage and then get an annulment. Oh, you know. We have very that long campaigns. That would be a really funny lawful good bard. <laughs> What if you played a uh, a polygamous bard who just had mu married every NPC that he consummated with? I, I'm I'm sure that's I'm sure that some of the yeah. watchers probably have done that. Why not? Yeah. Go for it. Right. Live your life. It's D and D. I mean, I've played a one of those as a kind of uh, as a charm cleric before, so you know. So what have you thought about the, the change to two from one? Since the only thing, the, 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 same, the same issue that I have with second edition is the same issue I have with Starfinder is that once uh, we play it as soon as it comes out. Yeah. So you don't have all of the uh, options that you have later on as a, like Pathfinder's like yeah. 10 years old. You yeah, can play yeah, whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, Pathfinder's been out for so long, such a long time. It's it would be impossible for Paizo to. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you just don't like the fact that you've lost optionality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it was so new that when I typed in uh, min max bard build, <laughs> nothing came up. <laughs> You're one of those. I'd rather. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I want my dice to have as much advantage as possible. loving polygamous. <laughs> Min max. <laughs> What's like your race? A Hold on. Oh, goblin. Yeah. Uh, a goblin. Monkey goblin. A monkey I'm still so sad it's not gelatinous cube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if you were a gelatinous cube, cube bard? bard? And you just what dissolve would be your every. Serenade? Like splish, splish, splish. <laughs> just splish. bubbling. The sound of bubbling. <laughs> like, do you remember Listen the? Listen to the sweet, soothing sounds. It'd be like jazz. Did you ever <gasps> see the movie The Labyrinth? Yes. You know that fart bog? 
<laughs> that they had to walk through. The yeah, 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 yeah. The soothing sound. Oh, sounds. smells bad. Like that thing. Yeah. They would sell so many CDs. Like you just want to listen to it at night. And people were like, oh, it's my yeah, favorite. Like, this is my yeah. jam. They scat. Just blub, 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 blub. <laughs> It'd be great. Gelatinous blub. bard. What's the odd? You ever, you, so you read. I just want to play with the door. Play with it. I didn't break it. No. Yeah, it pops nice. in for it, easy it, story. It, yeah, 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 they yeah. come out. The doors come out. What's the oddest character you've ever had playing a role-playing game? The oddest character I've ever played what? Playing a role-playing game, like an oh, RPG. Oh, any like RPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, that's a hard question. Well, you don't come on painting happy little minis and, for the easy not, question. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. We only ask the tough, hard-quitting <laughs> tough questions part. here, <laughs> sir. Hardest one. God. I, I played a, a priest of Lathander who uh, was a super conservative, haughty, even uh, subsect. And so I had to actually play a very conservative, righteous, awful of a it was It was awful. That's, that's when role playing goes too far and you, you get into your background and history yeah, yeah. and your flaws. And no one really wanted to play with me. <laughs> <laughs> We have the problem on the podcast that so if someone is a student of the martial arts, yes, a lot of times when they go to choose their character voice, <laughs> as soon as they say, "Well, like, you you can't talk like that for the whole podcast." No, <laughs> no, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But now this season we have a guy playing a monk, and he went straight kung fu voiceover. So now he talks like this. I and love it. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you found the loophole. Yeah. So what what is your voice then? I'm doing a lot, you know, like, because I'm playing. sex monkey. My boss, he's, a, you know, he plays in a band, right? Oh. And his backstory is that a, uh, he was at a show. He's on tour with his band. This old woman comes up after a show and gives him this weird looking, uh, like mandolin. Yeah. But it's Obviously, just an, it's, what you do. Yeah. yeah it's like, just <laughs> an electric guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, now when he plays it, I put in like heavy metal riffs and stuff. But, you know, so he's always talking like, hey, love, how are you doing, you know? Because oh, wow. he's so like, you know, you know, a typical, like, rock star sort of thing. Yep. Very good, very good. I think my favorite character that I never really got a chance to play, but I got to play, uh, like, once, a Kinku Bard. Oh, and yeah? Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> he became a bard because he was sent on a, a quest uh, from his his clan to figure out how to be creative, to write his own song. And because they're cursed to never be creative, <laughs> um, it's basically just a big fool's errand. <laughs> so he ends up just getting sidetracked by all these things and he's obsessed with the idea of creativity. If he thinks that you have something creative, then he copies it because he too wants <laughs> to be creative. Wow. And so anytime anything happened, they ran into anyone, you had horrible fashion, anything that was just bright and flashy. And he was like, creative, like, ha. Huh. <laughs> and he just, yoink, and he would just steal it. Um, that just sounds in delightful. So he, he was a fun character. His, his uh, character name was Nober for no birds allowed <laughs> because uh. that's what humans kept saying to him all the time because he got in trouble um, in all the towns, because he only plagiarized music. <laughs> he only plagiarized music. Well, he, he was he was a kinku. He couldn't uh. create any of his own songs. Uh. He only played covers. There was a um, the most famous rock star in all of France, right? The guy got famous for just taking Elvis Presley songs and translating them into French and singing them, and was re just releasing out like cover albums. But he was the most famous rock star, and uh, he died either last year or the year before last, and got like the type of funeral that's only reserved for like the highest offices of state, like you know, full full uh, procession down like this major boulevard and everything. And the guy he never wrote an original song; it was just covers. Yeah, uh, just yeah. Covers. So we aren't going to show minis from fans today. Those in the chat asking because we uh, are having WizKids paint with us today. So. What was the question? Uh, chat was asking if we were going to show up any minis from um, our Facebook page that the fans ah. had oh, submitted. Yeah. but No Facebook. We have you instead. That's right. <laughs> yeah, ask any questions to our WizKids. I, 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 I may know the answer. 
You're our gift for today. Yeah. We don't need any more. For them, for them. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have played a lot of strange characters, but the hardest one was playing just a righteous, it's just, you don't want to be in that week yeah. after week after week, because then it's just, you know. We end up, I mean, usually parties just devolve into murder hobos anyway. Yeah, right, yeah. I we, beg your we pardon, I've never had that, that problem. And so it was, uh, you know. It was hard for us to, uh, Curse of Strahd, by the way, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was hard for us to uh, go down that rat b route uh, just because, it, you know. I you believe there is a red over there, and I would love for you to pass it to me. Of course. Since I need all the colors of the rainbow. Yes, you do. Huh. Try to get as many. So what other special WizKids things can I tell you? Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Man. Well, do you have anything anything exciting that you can tell us coming up other yes. than what you have shared? Yes, I can. I can. Um, let's see. What can I tell you? Gosh. <laughs> what can you tell us I that mean, isn't I'm super secret? Come on, come on. We're yeah, yes. you got secrets? Yeah. We're at PAX. I know, I know. Yeah, we're at, this is the perfect place to share secrets. We're coming out with Starfinder minis. Oh, really? Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, working with Paizo, uh, we have announced uh, that we're coming out with uh, two blisters of six, uh, six monsters six and six characters. What's uh, what monsters? monsters? Yeah. You know, I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm sorry. I, I wish I had that in my head. I wasn't prepared for that. Um, I but they are you, hard hitting great. questions. Mm -hmm. well, I know, it's hard getting questions. Tell us everything you don't remember. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. What else can I tell you? There's so many things coming out. Oh, uh, I'll have the, if you want to see what the, the Archon and the, and the Dark Order minis look like, I'll have them tomorrow in the booth to show people if they come by and ask. Ooh. Ooh, awesome. Yeah, so it'll be Archon, Kroll, uh, Chango, uh, and I'm probably saying that wrong, Chango. Um, so if you're familiar with uh, Joe Maginello's uh, Archon. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Amazing, amazing minis. Uh, they're going to be released in March. Um, yep, I think. Now, ish, what's the process? Ish. Now, how much do you know about the whole process of the whole mini thing? Like, do you have a team of artists that oh, make yeah. everything this big and then it gets scaled down? No, no, actually, we're 100% digital. So um, Okay, so yeah. digital, okay. Yeah. So if you think about it, what the process is pretty simple. Um, we have mm -hmm. a concept artist or art that we take from said, you know, D&D or Paizo lines, right? Uh-huh. We take that. We create references and try to look at different poses and structures and what we want them to do and what emotion they want. we want them to convey. Uh, we then digitally sculpt those. Uh, that goes through a couple of iterations with some approvals. Uh, once we have the approvals, we, we send that sculpt off to be produced uh, and have a lot of checks and balances and more checks and more checks. For, like that path, you know, all the minis we, our, we have in our hand has gone, have gone through multiple different approvals mm -hmm. for shape, color, pose, thickness, all that kind of stuff, right? And then we release the mini. But, it, but to your question, all the minis themselves are... Uh, are digitally, uh, for them, we've been digitally sculpting for the better part of, I think, five to six years, all of our minis. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that you would sculpt them out of clay. Uh, we first. used to. We used to do a lot of well, that. Yeah, but in this yeah. today's day and age, today's day digital's and age. the way to go. Yeah, of course, yeah. That's really neat, though, to know like the behind-the-scenes process of how that comes about. Yeah. We do have a chat question, though. Do you plan on an Eberron Adventure League packet coming out? An Eberron Adventure League what? Packet. Packet. Packet package, maybe? Uh, n I don't, there's nothing that I know of for an Eberron Adventure League uh, package or packet. I can say that there is potentially some uh, minis coming out for Eberron. It's not even potentially. They come out in March. Uh, Sorry, looking at her when I should be looking at the camera. Where's the regular host? Where's Dave? Yeah. I don't oh. know. He said he had something to do. Wait, wait, wait. He you're couldn't be here today. You're not the regular host? I, well, I am, but there, I have a co-host normally <laughs> who's here. 
Yeah, he's, he's rather be painting something else with other people. Licking other paintbrushes. Right. Yeah. You're, you're better anyways. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I mean, you can still taste him if you miss him that much. No, I don't. Just I don't lick these. Since I don't know him, I, I don't miss <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, oh, he's here. Oh, he's here. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. And now he's oh, gone. No. Cryptid sighting. Cryptid sighting. I, 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 thought, I thought he was gone. <laughs> I've been talking about him. It's like Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> if you say Dave Taylor's name three times and lick a paintbrush. Oh, yeah. We have to find, we <laughs> have to find a mirror, you. though. With the mirror. That's Candyman. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, darn, it. <laughs> darn it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what things can I announce? Let's see. Uh, we, ah, spell effects. If you uh, want to come and see the spell effects, too, they're at our booth uh, right now. If, uh, I didn't bring those. I, you know, I probably should have. I, I didn't want to bring a whole box of stuff. But uh, the spell effects, too, we have really cool things like uh, Force Cage, the spell. It's uh -huh. a massive cage, like really big. It, we have uh, Lima's Tiny Hut. We have a lot of spell effects. We also have uh, area of effect spells. Like we have, like, a, 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 I mean, what druid doesn't play, doesn't cast Moonfire, right? Yeah. Uh, so we have a <laughs> Moonfire template. We have a Fireball template. We have a number of templates at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah. It's there, and they're they're not just, uh, you know, you can get them online. They're just boring outline shapes, mm -hmm. or you can get them with fire. And so they're actually over there. Are uh, they translucent, like yes. clear? Oh, yes. nice. Oh yeah. Oh, that's oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. That comes out in January. Uh, we have a a 4D line of things uh, for a farm. If you really like farms, so like we have Ooh. haystacks and a farmer, mm -hmm. cows, pigs, chickens. I, I mean, love the mini sets that have all those little tiny yeah, things so in them. So do I. So do I. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we, uh, I have, we have the two farm sets over there. Uh, I would say they're, I mean, again, it's what we're doing, to, trying to create with this, our 4D line is create a bunch of painted dungeon dressing. So, and I say dungeon dressing, things that everyone, like adventurers camp, caverns, right? I mean, think of like RPG foils. Like think of foils that you have. So like foils is like, when you're out in the forest, you're always at a camp, right? You're always yeah. camping. So, and of course, there's always werewolves that come up on you and, and try to kill you, right? So we're creating really nice adventurous camps, really nice uh, a, a bridge over a river or a chasm, right? At first level, that's a deadly encounter, right? I mean, I don't know how many people have played that where you actually are trying to cross, cross a 20-foot ravine or river or blah or whatever, uh, and how deadly that is without fly, without yeah. anything else, because... You, you know, the rope may fall, the, the bridge may collapse, you, yeah. you may die and fall to your death. And I feel like those things are what make the adventure, like, something a little bit more than just when's the next monster. Correct, when's, correct. Uh, when's the next this, when's, you get uh, that, uh, those extra little things that you aren't typically expecting that make the game so much more. No, I think you remember the second level chasm that three people fell and almost died or did die. Yeah. Right? More so than than killing off a uh, mind player, right? Yeah. I really I really do. And so uh, we want to create those kind of foils, right? Uh, we want to create what a you, bunch what of you, what you looking for? Or did you just, did you oh. get paint everywhere? Yeah, did I'm, you, I'm, you, I'm covered <laughs> in paint. <laughs> no, Should we have I'm gonna get latex point. I'm gonna get acrylic right poison. Put your hands right there. It's, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. It looks like coffee. <laughs> Oh, oh, I this forgot is to have coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like coffee. Uh, but yeah, foils, uh, 4D settings. Uh, the farm comes out in January as well. Just a bunch of stuff. I think next year we're probably, not probably, uh, we are producing more sets, more cool things, more D&D, &D, more Paizo, more 4D than we ever have before. And it's really good, good. quality stuff. If you, if you game with, with terrain and, and minis, uh, we have a lot. How's yours coming along? Mine's good. So uh, what I did is I, I let the, the kind of, uh, the, nice. I, so I added a, a black wash, but then on top of the black wash, I added a bronze, and so it's kind of bronzy. I think I'm getting to a point where I'm just going to do the base next, because in my, in my world, fire elementals are just kind of base elements. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I went with blood on top of black on top of bronze. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so maybe, you know, I could have started with orange, but now it's a, a, a blood fire elemental. I love the name blood fire elemental. If I had a metal band, that would be the name of yeah. my metal band. That would be your metal band, blood yeah. fire elemental? Blood fire. 
Bloodfire. This week at Ozfest, Bloodfire Elemental. I like that. And Bush. This I I should have chosen a different pony. Having so many colors in her mane, uh huh. Oh. I am like we gotta we gotta get the whole rainbow up in here. Yeah, you're super I'm, good at this. And I'm then we gotta that. yeah, you are. Then we gotta go back and and add all the little details. Oh my. And and still got and time. The, and the stickers. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do the. Well, they're water slide decals. <laughs> we need clean water for that. Oh. <laughs> I think we can probably get clean water. Uh, we're gonna make it happen. Let's see. What's there? Da, 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 black. Uh, I think he needs clean water. Yeah. Okay. So you don't accidentally Whoa, drink your coffee yeah, slug? That was a lot lighter <laughs> than I thought it was. I was like, <laughs> I thought you were going to spill it on me. I was like, yeah, that, that's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. Shadow wash. Okay. Da, 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 da. It's always like the speed run towards the end. What's that? Said it's always like the speed run towards the end when you're trying to get oh, as much. Oh, we have 45 minutes. I think you guys are no. fine. No. Oh, we're ending in early. Oh, look at that. All right. Time flies. Right? What to talk about in 15 minutes? Oh, no. I like my eyes. Do you like see my eyes? I love your eyes. That's Let's beautiful. Eyes. Let's see. Wow. You have a steady hand. Thank you. You could have been a surgeon, but you became oh, a comedian you, instead. Yeah, but I made a comedian. You were what? What? <laughs> I just didn't want to paint the eyes off center, and then one's like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that became a really popular oh, pony. You did a really yeah. good job. My derp yeah. pony. My derpy pony. She became my derpy a pony. very popular pony. Everyone, it was an animation error, and then all of the bronies uh. were like, we want to keep her like she is. They made a derp pony? Her name's Derpy Hooves. Derpy, what is it? Uh, derpy, Derpy Hooves. Derpy. Derpy She's a messenger hooves. pony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who knew? Who knew? All right, now to give it a tiny mustache. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a little gold mustache. Let's see. I gotta make sure my blood sugar's good enough to do it. All right. Yeah, it looks like it is. So here's something for your uh, the watchers. What minis do you want? Those are questions I always ask people. Ooh, that's a and really good I, question I usually for the get, chat. I want my dragons. I want my dragons. No, beyond dragons, because we know dragons. So like, what what minis do people want? I definitely. Speaking of having a, a Kinku Bard character previously. Yep. Uh, I would love more kinkus. More kinkus. Yes. Okay, yeah. Give me some bird people. There we go. I played a goblin mechanic when we did Starfinder. Yeah. I would have liked a goblin mechanic. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, goblin mechanic. Okay. All right. But yeah, having, I think even having like ones that just don't typically fit the mold that people can use and yeah. for characters that can sometimes be hard to find one of the things that we're testing out uh, in this next year is actually multi-class mm. so we're going to add some sore locks some so sorcerer warlocks we're going to add we're going to add some multi-class ones and kind of try to combine them together Ooh, yeah. i like that idea yeah multi-classing is very popular in 5e So far. That is so beautiful. That is gorgeous. Now I want to give it a little wash. How do, how okay. do you how do you do how you been doing? You just washes? go for it. No, oh, uh, I I. What's your wash technique? My wash technique is to spray a little, maybe add a little water, and depending on how dark you want it to be, and mix it all together, and then just brush it like a well, it's like a dry brush. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like a dry brush, but it's wet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so uh -huh. Chad oh. says warforged, furbold. Abeleth, Simic hybrids. Okay, so I heard the Warforged. I heard Furbolg. the Furbolg. Yeah. Furbolg. Yes, Bolg. yes. Yeah. Abolith. Yeah. There may be a Abolith. Furbolg coming very soon. Maybe I just Simic looked at hybrids. it. Simic hybrids. Am I pronouncing everything right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's the other one? Simic, Simic hybrids. Simic. I. Yeah. Got any of them Simic hybrids? <laughs> 
Ooh, Blood Hunters as a class on a mini. Ah, Blood Hunters. Uh, yes. Would love to see a Tiefling bo uh, bo uh, I can't speak words anymore. Tiefling Bard. I can say it. Tiefling yeah. Bard, yes. Warlock yes, I like Tiefling riding Bard. a broom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiefling Bard, got it, got it. Tiefling Paladin. Mm, Ooh. A Tiefling Paladin. Tieflings can't play Paladin. Yeah, I hear, I hear you very clearly. Tiefling Paladin sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Got the Furbog. Yeah, I, I am 100% sure there is a Furbog coming. <laughs> In the Volos and Mordekainen set, uh, which was just to release this week, or maybe it was last week, but it was very recently. We have a female um, furbog druid, and oh, it's, wow. it is great. She's seven feet tall, nice. nice little spell effect, really good paint job. That's it's a awesome. really strong mini. Yeah, we're going to see a lot more furbogs. One, because I like them a lot. Uh, two, because we just they're cool. But definitely the, the, the Warforged, as someone already mentioned. The Warforged is... Uh, it's something we need to do more of now that Eberron is is official. Yeah, I love Warforge. Yeah. And we may even have a couple in the set coming out in March. Mm. So we're coming out with a mini set in March for uh, for Eberron. If I can get just the rainbow base colors done so I can have this as a work in progress and then post it up in. Well, you have purple, lavender. Yeah, I got purple. Roy G. Biv. Yeah. Roy G. Biv, that's all green. I need. Green, where's green? Green is on here. Oh, you're right. I got the green. I, I need the blue. What about that's indigo? What need. You need indigo. I need indigo. I need dark blue. Yeah, let's hmm. see. I have. Oh, oh indigo. Look at yeah, that. that. Oh, that's a indigo. Very nice Look at that. Blue. An actual indigo. Ha ha. But I already messed up in my, my tail. I'll have to fix that later. It's the last five minutes of everything that everyone ends up getting. And this is my this is my mess up color. I always get blue everywhere. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I'm like, oh, man, I got to get blue. How and often then, do you do and this, then I by just, the way? I do this every week. Wow. Every Thursday, uh, we, we live stream it. Do we send you minis? It. You send us minis. Okay, we good. We give kids minis. Good, yeah. Good, good, good. Send us more minis. We'll paint more things. Yes. I heard Seattle's very green. It is very green. Because it rains a lot. <laughs> no, no. It, it actually probably rains more in Baltimore than it. And we have about 10 what? minutes left I bet it does. in the show to get our minis where we want them. Oh, I think I'm close. I've messed it up already. So I guess I can fix it again. But that's a lot of work. I don't think I'm going to get there. I'm going to, like, speed paint this. And I'm going to make such a mess. But it's OK, because I'll, I'll post this up as a work in Flesh progress. I'll bring wash. it home. No. The old flesh wash. <laughs> the old flesh wash. That's all you need, really. <laughs> uh, Seattle is very green. Uh, it's a lot of, because it's a lot of trees. Verdant. Is yes. that the word? Yes, I would agree with that. Oh, pixie dust pink. Oh. I gave I gave the tail like a black wash. What are you going to do with wash? the pink? Do the inside of the ears. Oh, goody. Okay. I like that. That's a good I'm not, plan. I'm not, I don't hate it. I don't hate my mini. I don't hate my pony. Good. I don't want you to hate your mini. Everyone's Why mini, no matter where you're I at. hate you, mini. <laughs> Why would you hate your mini? This is your first time <laughs> painting a mini, though, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So You've I think a that's a job. beautiful job. Yeah. 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 I was an art student. Oh. At one that's point why. in time. <laughs> well, that's, you have to go thing. back. That's just cheating. Uh, oh. But we don't know what kind of art student he was. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, a street art student of the wow. streets. What? I would break dance. No, you wouldn't. No. Prove well, it. prove it. Break dance. I break dance. Break dance. The last time I did the worm, I lost a toenail. Uh, well, that happens that's in concerning. our age. Yeah. That's really concerning. All right. I lost a toenail. <laughs> you ever have a toenail come off? Oh, no. Oh, but no. now I got a new toenail that my fiance won't touch. Oh. Oh. All right. Right. We're learning oh. so much about you today. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just messed up the face. That's what happens. The last, the last little bit. But I, the good thing is it's a wash, and so I can wash it off. Hmm. 
I always think whenever I'm painting with minis that it's like when I paint with other paints and I can just very quickly like dab something or yeah, like yeah. take a Q-tip. And then I realize and I remember that I normally paint with watercolors and that's uh, easy to get rid of your mistakes. Yeah, yeah. I'm us I usually use finger paint. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I want to see you finger paint a mini. <laughs> I tell you, when uh, that's one of the reasons why I like painting Warforge. Could you just do a nice black base and then rub and buff? I thought Boom. you said you'd never painted before. Well, I mean, if you consider <laughs> rub and Cut. buffing a war for Cut. Cut on camera. Oh, Jesus. I'm a fraud. I've never painted before, except for war for Except for this mural <laughs> I did. Except for that one time I painted everything. It's, it's good. You liar. All right. <laughs> Unless you count my time as a professional mini painter. <laughs> uh, look at that. I think the eye. Let me see the ear. Wow. I am beautiful. You're going to give that back to us so we can take it and, and uh, put it in the booth so that people oh. buy more? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll even use your favorite word as my butt stamp. Oh. F. <laughs> Fornicate. I, I need to it. think of, 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 uh, of butts. I can't do that. That's no, no. <laughs> way too complicated. I know. And the, you, the rainbow is, that is pretty it's dark. It's happening. Amazing. It's happening. I am it's that's a very a, when you do something, a, it's a very base coat. Two kind of hours thing. once a Wait week. Wait a minute. You have that's five happening. minutes to get those eyes in. Oh, man. That's because right terrifying. now you have a ghost. Derpy. You have a ghost. Derpy. Yeah. Derpy. <laughs> I was worried because that would be a creepy pony. Just the ghost yeah, eyes? Yeah, just dead eye pony. My dead eye pony, my dead eye pony. So I love the names of miniature paint. It's so much fun. I want to do. I want to do a wrap of all the mini paints. Uh. Like like how the like Pokemon. Like a Pokewrap. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Join my album. Wow. Okay. We'll debut. Wow. You got cobalt red. That's cool. Troll skin. Troll skin. What is troll skin? S surprisingly, not oh, it's orange. Like a greeny thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's green. Purple worm. <laughs> purple worm. It's always great when you put the old in front of it, too. Right, when you're like, right. ah, the old purple worm. Yeah. It's good. We like purple worm here. The old troll skin. Does she have, like, red? She does have, like, red, purpley eyes. I don't know what's up with let's that. See the, That's let's cool. see the eyes. Come on, let's look at them. Well, they're not done yet. I was oh, looking at the color. Oh, they're black with lavender highlights, right? Yeah, something I like think that. Your plate is also artistic. Did you look at that? Uh, it's tidy. Uh, look how nice your plate is. Ours is Keep like, yeah, this is yeah, yeah, disgusting. Look at, look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Dungeon stone. Right. Dungeon stone. I saw a bronze around here, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, I was using it. It's right there. Yeah, yeah. Dwarven bronze. The old dwarven bronze. I should have done, I could still do high. No, no, I don't have time let's for see. highlights. Let's see what you've done. Can I touch it? Yeah, please. All right. Please touch my pony. All right. Touch your dwarven bronze. Uh, Let's see. Mm. Oh, don't give it that kind of a look. No, it's good. I'm I, this is great. Look, I mean, oh, sh look at mine. Yours looks cool. Eh, it'll do on my table. Mm. It's nice. Thanks. Mm. All right. So we have some eyes. Oh, I need minutes. to touch up the I blue. Gotta I do, know. I got to do a butt stamp. It's, it's five you got to do a butt a stamp. No, oh, okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> Still only five minutes left. <laughs> is this what hell yeah, is? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to Painting Happy Little Minis, <laughs> where the points are made up and the time doesn't matter. <laughs> when I die, I'm just going to be stuck in the last five minutes of a painting <laughs> mini segment. <laughs> Tape it with us. <laughs> For all of... Oh, well, uh, no, yeah, not yeah, with you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys would be kind of fun. Yeah. We're laughing. All right. I'm going to ask, Je sir, sir, pick a color. Name a color. Beige. He has too much beige uh, already. No, no. I need a butt <laughs> stamp for my pony. It's called latte art, okay? You can do it. Teal. Teal, teal it is. I now i got to find a tiefling teal. No, a, a, Good I luck. think the only teal is probably like that, um, the uh, troll flash you were looking at. That's sort of tealy, isn't it? Mm. I'm not putting green on this. That guy's an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> that guy knows nothing about color balance. <laughs> oh, <dear>. teal. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what is that? See, it says uh, teal. Is it just teal? It's emerald. Emerald. 
It's green. <sighs> you want to butt? Why don't you? Why choose? is there no black? I know. Well, God, here use. My dungeon stone. Oh, the flesh wash. You want to? I just use no. <laughs> <laughs> the old flesh wash. <laughs> Good old flesh wash. Use something shiny, silver. I did silver for the. Okay, I did. Oh, that's fine. If I already used. Uh, Let's see. I'll use dragon silver. Bare skin. Oh, that's what you have. Oh, Kyren gold. Ah, I <laughs> just threw my paintbrush at you. Did I? Oh, you no, threw no, it at I, me. I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's like that. I see. I see what it is. Yep. Is this yours or mine? That's yours. <laughs> Doesn't taste like mine. I promise I wasn't secretly licking paintbrushes. <laughs> He'll never know. <laughs> Who's he? Bah, 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 bah. You do this weekly. I wow. do this weekly. That is yeah. amazing. Every week I speed run a painting a mini, which normally takes people several days, <laughs> and yeah. they are stuck with whatever I manage to put on screen. And then Dave uh. paints a mini, and it looks perfect. Oh. Uh. <laughs> And you do this from Baltimore. We do this from Baltimore, yeah. Wow. We have a whole studio yep, set up. Yeah, with a belly full of clams. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? Mm, delicious. <laughs> Crab, clams, fish. <laughs> oh, I'm so full of clams. Time to paint minis. <laughs> <laughs> we do it for good luck. It's fine. What's that? So we, we eat the clams for good luck. It's good. Yes, with, with your crab. Yeah. One minute. Uh, one minute. One minute. Okay. One minute. minute. And I got to get these eyeballs on here. One minute. I got this. What are you doing? Let's see. I got to fill in. So oh, you're doing I'm a little star. Oh. I want to do that. The second one was better because I had less paint because I'm a goober. So I got to. You're not a goober. I can be. I have not yet begun to goob. You have not even goobed? You haven't even goobed your first gobber? I don't know. <laughs> that just sounded wrong. I'm a goofy gooba. <laughs> a goofy gooba. <laughs> I need something as close to white as I can get. I'm going to use gelatinous blue. You're going to use what blue? Gelatinous blue. Ah. It's a pretty good white. That's what I use for the my uh, pupils. My um, What do you call the white part of your eye? Uh, yeah. Irises. No. Iris is the colored part of your eye. Then um, you're right. What is it called? I don't know. I can't remember. The eyeball. What, hey, lit, lit watchers. What do you call the white part of your eye? The What's white the white part, part of, of your, your eye, eye called? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, I know the frendulum is under your nose. <laughs> eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> you know your eye pits. Yes, your eye pits. <laughs> <laughs> Dragons in gaming. I've painted minis in under two hours. It's not hard. Uh, yeah. The fine. white. Oh, someone yeah. said yeah. the the wow. appropriate term is the white eyeballs. part. You said that's the only ah. thing I had to finish. Those so are that's so good. I, well, without mm -hmm. the eyes, it would have been creepy. It is. It's not not perfect, but it's I there. like it. Let me yeah. see. Let me look at I, it dead on. Dead on. I, I, oh, I, so I think that if there was <laughs> a contest, so you you would get you would win. Yeah. All right, yeah, guys, we have to we have to show everyone what oh. we managed in two hours. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Yay! Good job. Good we job, guys. Yeah. We did it. Yes. All right. Exciting. Yeah, show your cutie mark. My cutie yeah, mark? Oh, your cutie oh that mark. little star. Show us your cutie mark. Th this Tommy. side's the good side. Where's, where's the camera? <laughs> right Give here, me a right camera. Right here, right here, right here. There we go. Can you get over here? The little, I did a little, it's a little Celtic cross thing. Do you see it? It's not up on Close the thing. Cam. Close cam. It's okay, coming. Okay. It's coming, Jesus. Adorable. Wow. Uh, That's looks, nice. It's on oh, okay. wow. There we go. <laughs> right. It looks like a star. <sighs> good job. And it has a little mustache, a little gold mustache, Aww. like her papa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
All right, well, so we burn these now? We just throw them in a fire? No, you get to bring them home and cherish them forever. What? <laughs> or you can, you, can, you can give them back to me. I'll give them back to you. <laughs> if you want to display it. No. Maybe. Show everyone. Yes. Showcase. I'll display hers. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't put mine anywhere near her. I got, I got plans for Rainbow Dash there. I'm going to make Rainbow Dash. <laughs> I don't want people to go, what happened to these two? <laughs> yeah, we'll know what happened to this one. All right. <laughs> well, Thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining yeah. us on our PAX Unplugged Painting yeah. Happy Little Minis. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Gretchen. I'm Tommy. And Patrick. <laughs> and we'll see you at your friendly local game store. Thanks for watching Painting Happy Little Minis. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content.